back for us education this is that today i'm going to be talking about once more sos make sure to drop a like to this video to help this channel grow subscribe and leave notifications on i did cover this video previously this is an update to that video if you would like to watch my previous video you'll find it in the description below now make sure to drop the like and subscribe and let's jump right into this one so sos cloud this is a chinese company and just to actually uh bring it a little bit around i think this one here this small paragraph fits exactly what they do SOS Limited is a tech company focused on emergency rescue services, working with healthcare providers, insurance companies, and financial institutes, among others in the emergency rescue industry. SOS Limited utilizes blockchain and big data technology to provide marketing and cloud computing services to its partners in the sector. The company also dabbles in the Internet of Things and artificial intelligence. So that's that's basically just to kind of sum it up they also are more of a bitcoin or cryptocurrency mining company um and i did cover really in depth on each of these services that they do offer in my previous video so i do recommend you watch that one as well and one of the latest news that we received was sos announces receipt of 5,000 pc pcs of mining rigs ahead of their schedule now that is original of uh the other thousands of mining rigs that they're going to be receiving i did cover that in my previous video so i'm not going to cover that this time in terms of recent institutional buyers i don't have that information uh just because it doesn't sh uh, seem to actually even show on my portal and when we're looking into any recent news updates even on uh, finviz we don't see anything of that sort now price over book and price over sales based on finviz is way above two and three so in theory this one is overbought yet uh the big thing about this one is that it's trading based on intrinsic value based on bitcoin mining now we still don't know the exact hash rate currently they're putting at and what their actual uh profits related to cryptocurrency mining as of this moment just because we don't have a most up-to-date uh recent quarter filing but we do know that they do have approximately 48 million dollars growth proceeds there uh in terms of an offering and in jane 15th they had approximately 25 million dollars in direct registered offering plus another 15 of uh warrants so the list goes on they keep putting in offerings and so they, they are the cash liquid now before moving on for make sure to actually subscribe and leave vacations on it helps my channel a lot we're going to cover a little bit of technical analysis because we need to understand a little bit of the psychology of traders trading this one so on a one-week perspective, we get to see this one is actually going in quite parabolic. And so you can expect one weekly perspective, it's looking really bullish. NSMA is above 30 EMA. We don't have a lot of points for this one. Uh, I think this one was actually due towards uh, a split perhaps or a new ticker. So it's not showing or might be just a glitch. Now on a one-day perspective, things are looking still really bullish. MACD, as you get to see, uh, the histogram is actually increasing, hasn't even decreased yet. Momentum is uh, a little bit seeing a little bit of a stabilization at the nine dollar or nine level, and the William Person R is showing it's still overbought. It's been overbought for a while. The ADX is showing hey there is a potential for a pull for a pullback, and we've seen that today from 1588 all the way down to 897, stabilized at 1280. Tenasa May is above 30 EMA. You get to see 613 is above 442, and that is amazing. Because that's where your trading action zone. That's where you can start expecting positive reversals to occur. And that's a good thing. Now, on a two-hour perspective, do five days, two hour. Here's where things get a little bit ugly. The 10 SMA is above 30 in May, and that's good. The trading action zone is a little bit wider. That means it has between 1333 and 1008 for it to see that positive reversal. And the price point is above the 50 SMA. That's all great and amazing. ADX is seeing a pullback, as I did say. And William Personar is showing a little bit around neutral. The MACD and momentum are both going on towards the negative reversal. Momentum still has a couple of points there before it goes negative. MACD has gone actually negative on the histogram, which basically says we are through this pullback. Although you see this massive 1646 down to uh, 864, that could be the pullback that the histogram is showing. Below 1008, that's where you start things get a little bit ugly out of the trading action zone where positive reverses are likely. And so we're still in a safe haven right now. On the stochastic fast and stochastic slow, what we get to see here is that the price point is far off from the moving average band. But for the sake of the argument, it's still increasing, so that's a good thing. Now, volumes have been pouring in higher and higher, and that's actually still a good thing. You need to worry when the volume 
starts declining. Right now, there's enough volume for people trying to buy and add on shares. There are the more people selling, and that's why it's still closed higher than the day before, even though it had this massive uh, of variation in price. On stochastic fast and stochastic slow, they're telling you here to be very careful. There might be either an accumulation here for a little or perhaps a pullback. So it was just basically adds caution to the win. Now, move on Fibonacci retracements, we see significant support sits at 1274, 1027, 854, 681, and 467. Significant resistance, 1588. Now, before moving on towards the trends and patterns, uh, what I want to do here quickly is try to go on on a one month to our perspective and draw some price line actions. Significant support for me is currently is 1232. Below there, you're looking at 1177. Below there, you're looking at 1131. And then you dive down to 783. That's quite a little bit of a jump uh, drop down. 721, 530, and then 447. Significant resistances. I'm looking at a few. Specifically, at the $14 and the $15 level. Now, I can try to go back to six months, but it looks like that's the highest I can see uh, the price point be for a while now. Now, this is the channel that I drew in my last video, uh, and it did have a couple of points, and I did say be careful of this jump. But what actually seems to be happening here is it's completely ignoring where it traded before, and it created this kind of its own new trend in a sense. I think the trend starts somewhere around this line here and this trend kind of broke down a little bit today in that kind of pullback so that's where things get a little bit interesting because yes this is a bullish flag coming in down yet things are looking a little bit uh weird in a sense that it might be forming heads and shoulder so this could be the head this could be the shoulders and that is a bearish pattern so the, the intrinsic value and the implicit movement on this one, at least in the background, people are pushing the price higher. People are seeing bullish because it's a cryptocurrency play. Rather, but yet the patterns are telling you, hey, be very careful. It can easily drop. And how you can trade this if you still think it's a, it has a bullish case, whether in the long investment to continue going on with this channel, or if you're trading, to trade this one with caution and in a sense, try to have stop limits now something could happen where let's say you put your stop limit uh the previous support let's say you wanted to put it just above the support at 896 and it then tanks for a couple of minutes something like this even if the price really never reached there but a couple of orders that went through somehow through glitches can actually trigger your stop order for me i would trade this one with a stop limit somewhere around the 1180 section and if you're feeling that 1180 is a little bit too low you can consider 1263 stop limits by the way do not work overnight so just keep that in mind i myself i'm watching this one i'm still bullish on the company sentiment yet i'm speculative that the price point might actually see a good pullback especially with the patterns and the warning signs we've been getting what do you think about this ticker make sure to down in the comments below if you'd like to join our discord feel free to do so it's in the description below and have a wonderful day